No, no, never heard that. Even if you do run across the monkeys, tell them to be at Cunningham Island tonight at nine. You betcha, Ben Roger. Quiet! They've been left a legacy by an eccentric millionaire. Eccentric millionaire. Eccentric millionaire. Wait a moment, wait a moment. Sir, um, you see, uh, we really are the monkeys. Oh, I understand. Now, now everything's perfectly clear. You were just pretending to be someone else. Yeah, you know, we were just kidding around. Yeah, of course I know. Uh, do me one favor, please. Anything. If you do run across the monkeys, tell them I called. <laughs> But uh, we could probably work wonders with just a few geraniums. Uh huh? You decorate. I'm leaving. How do you do, gentlemen? You're just in time for the reading of the will. I am Ralph, butler to the late John Cunningham. Uh, excuse me, Ralph. You know, we really don't even know why we're here. Uh, I don't even think that we ever even met the late Mr. John Cunningham. I mean, even when he was early. Ah, but you did, sir. A long time ago, you returned a wallet to Mr. Cunningham containing $600. He always appreciated that. Ah, oh, because it showed our honesty. Oh, no, sir. Because it wasn't his wallet. <laughs> that is Madame Roselle, the late Mr. Cunningham's spiritualist. She reads minds, tells fortunes, reads palms. Or read my palm? No, wait till they make it into a movie. How do you do? You're very happy to beat me. <laughs> uh, yes, ma'am, we are. Oh, listen, can you really and truly... Can I read minds and tell the future you were about to say? <laughs> yes, I can. For example... Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have snow tomorrow. This is Mr. Harris Kingsley, the late Mr. Cunningham's traveling companion. <laughs> Perhaps you've read some of my books. Twelve walking tours through the Sahara. No, I don't. Beverly Hills on five shillings a day. I'm afraid I... Miss Ellie Reynolds, the late Mr. Cunningham's grandniece. Davy, Davy. Davy! Davy? Uh, look, uh, statistics uh, prove that two out of three teenage marriages end in divorce. Uh, three out of three. Four, uh, four out of three. <laughs> He's in love. Yeah, for the very first time today. <laughs> Who's who on Ellis Island? No, I don't think so. Utica City on the Moon. <laughs> no, I'm afraid I didn't. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I should like to play the will. Play the will? The late Mr. Cunningham recorded his will on a phonograph record. It'll never sell. <laughs> How about the flip side? <laughs> Voice? of the late John Cunningham. This is a recording. I'm sorry I can't be with you, but I'm dead. And well, what can I say except, wish you were here. <laughs> I wish you'd come to the part about my inheriting the mansion. You inheriting the mansion? The mansion is to be mine. Wait, let me check. Yes, yes, that's right. The mansion is to be mine. <laughs> To the monkeys, I leave the library organ with the stipulation that they play one song on it. Oh, that's all right. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. I leave my mansion and everything contained within it to Miss Ellie Reynolds. Ellie Reynolds? Shut up, Kingsley. With the stipulation that before she decides whether she wishes to keep it, she spends one night in the mansion. 